just what was it like just receiving the news that you know players had traveled with you all or would be able to play? Uh I mean during this time, you know, you know something might go down sometime. So we've been in this league for a long time. I mean, I'm not really surprised by anything. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, I wasn't, you know, you hate to see, you, you know, your teammate have to leave and go somewhere else. You know, because Karis is my, my guy and our, our guy, and we love playing with them, uh, you know, as far as that part goes. But the fact that something like that happened is like, that's what this league does. It's a, it's a business. And right now is that time, and people are trying to figure out who they want to go where and how they want to do things. So, you know, we got to stay aware of that until the, the deadline hits. I know that Rick mentioned that he, he basically had told Karras you know, shortly before the game started. Did you have a chance to say anything to him before? Not face to face. I texted him, but yeah, was, that's the only thing I was like, dang, you know, you keep rolling on the bus with me. And I wanted to at least be able to, you know, talk to him, at least, you know, tell him, you know, whatever I wanted to face to face and and do all that. But again, see, sometimes you don't get the opportunity. Uh, sure, I've been trading in the past and I never got the opportunity to do that. It's part of the business. We'll see him soon. I mean, we play him again, this team again uh, coming up. So, yeah, it's, unfortunately, unfortunately, we had to chalk it up to the game, but this is what the game and the business is. I was going to say, what's the, how, how unique or weird do you think that would be when you, you know, you know, if everything goes right Friday, you're, you're looking across the court at the guy that you were just in the locker room with. And yeah, it would be weird that he's not in our locker room and not in our jersey and on the other team. Uh, but again, I've done this for so long and experienced this in one way or another, either be, it being me or a teammate to where, uh, again, you're not used to it ever. That's one thing I will say. I'm, I'm never used to it, but uh, I've seen it happen before. So, you know, we just wish the best for him. And obviously, you know, now that he's with the team, we, we want to beat him. And last one, uh, how did you, as a, as a team, just this, you know, I guess put, not push it to, to the side, but accept it and go out there and play. And how do you think you all kind of feel with that? Yeah, again, that's that's how things happen in this league. You have to deal with whatever life sometimes hits you with, the game hits you with, and you have to go out there and do your job. Uh, so the thing is, nobody really cares about how you feel in this situation uh, or any any situation. All, all everybody really cares about is you going out and perform. So you have to try to find a way to lock in and against our job to go out there and, and do our job. So, uh, you know, we just go out there and try to do so. I think we actually came out pretty well after, you know, some hearing information like that. Uh, but, you know, we just didn't pull it out. What are the Cavs getting? First of all, a good a good guy. Um, you know, he won't come in and bring any problems. He'll, bring a, he'll become a brother really quickly uh, to those guys. Um, a very, very serious competitor, uh, wants to win. Um, and then you know, when we talk about his talent, how he's able to score the ball, has a very, very good knack of getting into the paint, uh, drawing other defenders, more than one defender to him. And he could put up 40 and 50, you know, on any given night. So they're getting a good, a good guy all around, good player, good man. And uh, again, he'll be a he'll be a friend to those guys, you know, for a while. Uh, how did you find out? Um I found out by I think my agent texted me. Yeah. Okay. Either that or somebody came in and told me. I can't remember which one was first. But... Okay. And you were on the bus with him coming over here? Mm -hmm. and we you... usually ride the same bus, yeah. Okay. And he... I didn't find out until yeah, I got until I was in the locker room. So I'm assuming he didn't know for sure until then either. <laughs>